So in this video, I want to differentiate each of these, and I'm going to use the product rule in order to do it. Each of them is a product of two separate functions, x and e to the x, x squared sine x, x plus 2 cubed cosine x. And so I can use the product rule to do them. OK, let's start off with number 1 then. Uh, y equals x e to the x. So dy by dx is the first, so x times the derivative of the second, e to the x differentiates to e to the x, plus the second times the derivative of the first, so e to the x times 1. So that would just be e to the x. And so x e to the x plus e to the x will be my derivative. Now, you can then factorise that, pull the e to the x out, uh, but I won't bother doing that at this stage, OK? So just focusing in on using the product rule. Right, let's try number two. We've got the x squared sine x. So we've got the first x squared times the derivative of the second. Sine x differentiates to cosine x plus the second times the derivative of the first. Now the derivative of the first is 2x. So 2x sine x. So the first times the derivative of the second, plus the second times the derivative of the first. OK? All right, let's keep going. Let's try number 3. So we've got the x plus 2 cubed cosine x. So we've got the first x plus 2 cubed times by the derivative of cosine x, which is minus sine x plus the second times the derivative of the first. Now, the derivative of the first, using the chain rule, will be 3 lots of x plus 2 squared. So the 3 has come down to the front. The derivative of what's inside has come outside, which is just 1. And I've taken 1 from the power. And that's cosine x. So let's tidy this up. We've got negative x plus 2 cubed sine x plus 3x plus 2 squared cosine x. OK, so that's dy by dx for number 3. Right, number 4, we've got e to the 2x sine 3x. So the first times the derivative of the second. Sine 3x differentiates to 3 cosine 3x plus the second times the derivative of the first. So 2e to the 2x times the sine 3x. So the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. So tidy that up. We've got 3 e to the 2x cosine 3x plus 2e to the 2x sine 3x. And of course, you could then factorise that, bring the e to the 2x out of a bracket, and have 3 cosine 3x plus 2 sine 3x inside the bracket. Right, number 5. So we have e to the minus 3x, the first times the derivative of the second. Now, tan x differentiates to sec squared x plus the second times the derivative of the first. So negative 3 e to the minus 3x tan x. So if I get rid of the plus sign. We've got e to the minus 3x sec squared x, take away 3e to the minus 3x tan x. The first times the derivative of the second, plus the second times the derivative of the first. OK, and so we've got the last one, number 6. Let's see how that works out. We've got the first, so sine of x squared, times by the derivative of the second, OK, now, derivative of the second using the chain rule. We've got the derivative of the inside coming outside, so that's 4x coming outside. Cosine differentiates to minus sine, so we'll have minus sine of 2x squared plus the second times the derivative of the first. Now, the derivative of the first 
Um, we've got the derivative of the inside coming outside, so 2x. Sine differentiates to cosine of x squared. And we've got the second, cosine of 2x squared. So let's check. We've got the first times the derivative of the second. First times the derivative of the second. Plus the second times the derivative of the first. So let's tidy that. We've got negative 4x sine of x squared sine of 2x squared plus 2x cosine of x squared cosine of 2x squared. OK, so that's how we can differentiate that last one. And that's how we can use the product rule. So if you just get into the habit of, I mean, you can write it out in more detail going, this is f of x, this is f prime, this is g of x, this is g prime, and then crossing. OK, you can set it out that way. I've always kind of remembered it as first times to the second plus the second times to the first. OK, and you shouldn't go wrong.